the first question is from Cheryl, and Cheryl asks, Hi Jesse, what is the difference between concrete HCL creatine versus traditional monohydrate creatine? Such an important question. Thank you Cheryl for asking that question because it really is confusing for so many people. Does creatine bloat? Should women take creatine? What does creatine do? Does it help build muscle? Does it help burn fat? Does it help power your workouts? And the answer is all creatine is effective and it all basically does the same thing. It pulls water into your muscle and gives you that pumped up awesome feeling in the gym. The residual of that is because your muscles are pumped up and because there's extra fluid inside the muscle cells, you are stretching the fascia of the muscles, you are increasing the size of the muscles temporarily, which all in turn promotes muscle growth. Blood pumping through the muscle, there's fluid in the muscle, and it's just gonna make you feel swole, look swole, feel awesome, look awesome, and I am a huge fan of creatine. So I take creatine uh, HCL, that's creatine hydrochloride, so that's what the HCL is. All the differences between monohydrate and HCL is basically potency. Both creatine HCL and creatine monohydrate will increase intracellular water. And all that means is it's inside the muscle cells. And that's what gives you that pumped up look that I was just talking about. But the difference is with monohydrate is monohydrate will also increase fluid under the skin. So what that is called is extracellular. HCL doesn't make fluid sit extracellular under the skin. It just pulls it into the muscle cell, giving you that pumped up look. Monohydrate will do the same thing as HCL, but it also can create fluid retention and fluid under the skin. And that's what kind of gives you that bloated, poofy, kind of blurred look to your physique, where you don't see the cuts and lines in your muscles anymore because there's some fluid right underneath the skin covering the muscles and the cuts and the lines and the striations and stuff like that. So that's literally the only difference. They're both gonna do the same thing. They both pull water into the muscle, so they're both very effective in that way and they both do the exact same thing. Monohydrate just has a tendency to also pull fluid under the skin. It's temporary, it just doesn't make you feel and look as badass. So before photo shoots and before expos and appearances and stuff like that, I take a little scoop of creatine HCL and it's for that exact reason. It pulls water into my muscles, it gives me that pumped up look, makes my muscles pumped up, makes me look big, makes me look like a total freak show, awesome muscle chick. All it will do is enhance what you already have. So if creatine is really, you get that look from creatine if you're already somewhat lean anyway. So if I'm not lean at all and I don't have this kind of definition going on whatsoever, and I take a scoop of creatine HCL. It's not going to suddenly turn me into superwoman. You're going to see striations. You're going to see muscle cuts. You're going to see dents and biceps and you know all the lines in your muscles. It's not that magical. But if you're lean, you're going to get that creatine pumped up look that I am obsessed with. Whether you're lean or not, it's still going to have the same effectiveness where it pulls water into the muscle helps stretch the fascia, helps pump up the muscle, helps create oxygen and blood flow into the muscle, which all helps create muscle growth. Also, creatine monohydrate is not as easily absorbed in the body as HCL is. And because it's not absorbed as well in fluid in your body, when you take monohydrate, it can just sit in your intestines, the part of the scoop that doesn't get dissolved by your body and the fluids within your body, it just sits inside your intestines and it just sits there and marinates and it can actually cause you to have an upset tummy because it draws water because that's what creatine does is it pulls water. So it is going to pull water where it's at. So it's gonna pull water to the intestines. It's gonna sit inside your intestines and it's not gonna make you feel very good. That doesn't happen to everybody, but if that's a side effect you are feeling from taking creatine monohydrate, that could be why, if you're having an upset stomach. Why I prefer creatine HCL over monohydrate is simply because it drastically increases its solubility and fluids inside your body. Since your body absorbs so much more of the creatine in HCL, you can take a much smaller dose. So if you have a jar of monohydrate creatine and you have a jar of creatine HCL, monohydrate creatine can be a big scoop. Creatine HCL is like this little teeny tiny baby scoop. 
and that's why because you can dose it so much smaller because it's so much more potent and it dissolves so much better if you use monohydrate and don't have any stomach issues whatsoever you can absolutely continue to take it again they both do exactly the same thing technically they do exactly the same thing HCL is just the more preferred type because you could potentially avoid that extracellular, that water under the skin, and the stomach issues that can come with it if you're prone to having to deal with that. That's it. That's the difference. Rock on. Keep taking your creatine. It's good for you.